Good morning and welcome back to another video. <sighs> Today we're talking travel tips for those of you who are on fitness journeys. I'm out here in Bacalar, Mexico and without a plan in paradise, I probably wouldn't be doing much of anything than relaxing. Let's jump in. Hey guys, future editor Will here. So I'm watching this as I'm editing it and I can tell I'm a little reserved and I think it's important to note why that's happening. So the first night in Bacalar, I contracted some kind of a stomach bug and I got so sick, so sick. Took a butt whooping like no other. And at this point, I was probably 70 to 80% better and it was a priority to film this video. The show must go on, so I put my big boy pants on and filmed it. You're gonna be able to tell I'm a little bit reserved and that's just because my stomach hurts when I'm talking. So I'm pulling back a little bit. I'm also gonna be off my game, so I'm gonna be popping back in throughout the video to fill you in on the details. With that being said, let's jump back in and I'll see you in there. All right, so I have some of the Jack Vegan coaches here with me. <laughs> Hello, Jijo here. <laughs> and she's gonna leave a tip for you guys. Well, for me, my traveling tip would be if I'm gonna snack, I'm gonna make it nature's candy. So a lot of fresh fruit available. <laughs> yes, I love that. Thank you, Jijo. <laughs> I love that she's calling it nature's candy. That's exactly what it is. Fruit is honestly a gift from nature. Now, when you're on a trip and you're trying to meet your macros, you're trying to stay within your calories, fruit is a great option. Not only does it taste good, but it's gonna be low calorie, especially for those of you who who are on fitness journeys who plan on working out while you're on vacation. It makes great pre-workout and it makes great post-workout. So fruit is an excellent choice. I love to fill up on strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. These are things I have every day on the regular anyways, and they're going to be accessible just about anywhere you go at almost any grocery store. Even if you're in Bacalar, Mexico, and there's a side stand on the middle of the road, most of the time you're gonna be able to find fruit. So excellent tip, Gijo. Thank you. Is this ab fighting? <laughs> All right, next up, I have Pico. Yes. Travel well, tip number two. <laughs> my tip might not be for everyone, but you are here with me yeah. traveling, <laughs> and I bring two waffle makers to this trip. So oh, yeah. bringing a waffle maker really is amazing. And if you're traveling far, you can always order ahead if you're staying on an Airbnb. And that makes a sick, sick gift. <laughs> yes, you can yes. control your food, control your macros, and have waffles at the same time. Yes, win, win, it. win. Absolutely, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, next up, my main man, Marshall. We're having fun out here in Bacalar, and he's got an excellent tip for you guys. So my tip is always bring protein power, vegan protein power, of course, and the full scale because uh, you definitely need it for be able to be sure that you are ingested the right amount of protein and carbs and fat. Yeah, I always like to say that uh, one of my main priorities when I'm on vacation is to track my protein. If I can't track everything, yeah. I at least want to track my protein. Exactly. So. And it is the protein, as a vegan, sometimes it's a bit complicated to find around if you travel in like places they don't really are vegan friendly. So if you bring your own protein power, you're always good. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Speak your truth. You already know. Search your mind. It's written in gold. All right, tip number three, bring some kind of medication that you can have with you if you get sick. So short but true story, two nights ago, I got sick. You're not supposed to drink the water here and I think I ingested a little bit while I was brushing my teeth and ended up contracting some kind of a stomach bug that put me on my butt for a day and a half. And because of that, I missed my workout, my macros were all messed up and I wasn't able to enjoy myself most of all. And in fact, that night was probably one of the three most challenging nights of my life and had me wanting to go to the hospital multiple times throughout the night. I didn't sleep. My stomach was in an insane amount of pain. It just kept inflating and inflating and inflating to the point where I honestly thought it was going to rupture. I was drinking the water I was supposed to drink, but that was all just running through me. I didn't feel like I could stay hydrated. I was in pain all night. So obviously my next day was just totally messed up, whether that was not feeling good or from being tired. So had I brought some medication with me, some stomach stuff, 
I would have been able to get back on my feet, I would have been able to recover a lot faster, and I would have been able to keep the mission moving, whether that's macros, workouts, or just enjoying yourself. And you can plan ahead by Googling common sicknesses in the area you're gonna be vacationing in, and go ahead and prepare yourself for that before you even go. I'd rather need it and not have it than have it and not need it. Easy to avoid or easy to shorten had I been prepared for that. All it is is a matter of looking ahead and being prepared. Tip number four may be the most important of all. Get on Google and find a grocery store that's in your area. Buy your resort, buy your hotel, whatever it is. If you're flying, it's a little bit more difficult to pack all the foods you want to eat to stay on track with your goals. Now, if you're driving, that's a different story. You can fill up a cooler and bring that. That's no problem. But flying presents a different set of challenges, which requires a different set of solutions. And one of those is finding yourself a grocery store in your area. It's exactly what I did. I went and bought some Tupperware bowls and almost everything that I eat on a regular basis to help keep me on track so that I can hit my fitness goals. I'm tired of chasing you down. I need serenity now. Was it too much to ask for on the west side? You're Tip number five would be to find yourself a local gym. Now, I'm always surprised when I talk to people and they don't realize that most gyms offer day passes, week passes, monthly passes, and sometimes even one week for free is a trial period because this obviously draws in more clients. So again, get on the internet, get on Google, do some research, find a gym around you that you like. Most touristy places are gonna have gyms because they know people wanna work out when you're on vacation. I really like to bring my exercise bands with me because I've seen gyms close down for many different reasons, whether that's reconstruction, water damage, pandemics, whatever the case may be, I usually don't find out about this till the day it closes. So if I don't have my exercise bands, I'm not prepared. And if the gym closes down, it just makes it a little bit harder to get a workout in. Now, obviously you can go back to the hotel or you can go to somewhere beautiful in your area and do a body weight workout. And while body weight workouts are great, I prefer to have a little bit more resistance in my training. So I like to bring my resistance bands. I bring a lot because I stack them on top of each other to give myself a lot of weight or preferably choice number one, the gym. And that's the video guys. Obviously being on vacation, we want to focus on relaxing, having a good time, recharging. But if having fitness goals are also important to you, then I think it's cool to still keep an eye on those things while you're out and about. Obviously this video won't be for everyone. Not everyone who goes on vacation is still looking to hit their macros. Not everyone who goes on vacation is still looking to work out. But those of you who are people like me who enjoy that, who enjoy being in shape, that truly get joy from seeing progress in your body, seeing progress in your fitness, these are excellent tips to help you do that even while you're away. If you made it this far, you obviously liked the video. So hit the thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe for more. And in the meantime, as always, eat plants, train hard, and feel good. I'll see ya. I'm finally fireproof.